No one does an astrophysics degree because they think it's going to be easy. But I'm just going to go straight into this and say this is obviously subjective. You might find this easy. I didn't. I might find modules easy that you didn't. So you should keep that in mind. And I think I'm going to immediately start off with thermodynamics. I mean, thermodynamics doesn't have the best reputation. And I'm not going to say it's justified, but I'm going to say I understand. <laughs> It was a very, very, very tricky class. I must say I was pretty naive going into this class. I wasn't really sure what to expect going in, but what I didn't expect was quantum mechanics. Then I later realized that quantum mechanics basically underpins all of modern thermodynamics, which was quite a scary realization to make. <laughs> Looking at partition functions, quantum statistics, ensemble statistics, I was panicking and I was like, a hard pass from me, I do not want to do anything with thermodynamics ever again. I liked the early lectures, which is quite funny because it was like, oh, let's look at phase diagrams and state variables. It's fun. But then it soon descended into mathematical and conceptual chaos. And I remember as soon as I had a lecture on the Maxwell relations in thermodynamics, I knew it was going to be a pretty long semester. I think overall what made this module tricky is a mixture of things, such as it being conceptually difficult. Um, not particularly interesting in a glamorous kind of way, the same way galaxies are, for example, or cosmology is, and tricky maths. These three are not a good combination, and that's why thermodynamics is, yeah, one of the hardest classes I took. My second pick is almost kind of cheating, because this was one module titled Particles, Quanta, and Fields, so it was kind of three topics merged into one, and I probably liked half of quantum in this <laughs> mixture of modules. I think when I reached the point of not knowing what questions to ask in class anymore, I knew that I was pretty much finished. I asked questions in every class, even if I didn't really understand the lecture, but I had some questions to ask. In this module, I ran out like after the second week. It was tricky. When we had lectures on things like time charge parity, charge conjugation, electronic structure of molecules, all combined into one module, it was not fun, especially electronic structure of molecules. I like things I can visualize, which is also which is also why I struggled with thermodynamics, because I can't visualize what's happening when you're talking about all these different states and microstates and macrostates. I don't know what's happening. I want something that I can see. I want a picture of a galaxy, something interesting. But yeah, that's why I found this quite tricky. I mean, this module wasn't as bad as thermodynamics, because there were parts that I liked. I liked when we were learning about Lagrangians, notice theorems, symmetries, methods of approximating quantum mechanical systems. That kind of stuff was quite interesting to me, especially because I like quantum in general. I liked quantum quite a bit even in just my first two years of the degree. But when you have quantum field theory and you have particle physics and then you're getting into the crazy quantum stuff on top of having just experienced quantum in thermodynamics, mm, I was like, no thanks. I like the quantum when we were looking at wave-particle duality or Schrodinger's equation and the uncertainty relations, things like that. The simple quantum. And the final module that I took, which is a not a very common module I would think, is titled Space Plasmas. I mean, my whole department at Aberystwyth was pretty much all solar physics based. Almost every lecturer worked in solar physics to some extent. And we had so many modules on stars. We had a module just titled stars. We had a module on the interior of the sun. We had the solar atmosphere and helosphere. And then we had space plasmas, which was essentially the extended helosphere and the solar atmosphere again. So yeah, it was just tedious. I had enough of the sun, to be honest. A lot of it was just waves and magnetohydrodynamics. It was, it was tricky. So we had to look at slow versus fast versus Alfane waves, oblique and parallel propagation of these waves, discontinuities, instabilities, shocks. I just didn't really connect with it. One thing I do remember though is that I liked the first two classes of this module. I just forgot what the first two classes were. So I don't remember what I liked. And later I realized I wish I paid more attention, to be honest, because magnetohydrodynamics would have come in handy with this derivation I could have attempted during my Oxford internship. Um, but you know, that's how it goes sometimes. Even though I didn't like these modules, I did get really good grades. I think I actually get almost better grades in these terrible 
terrible modules because I just have to work so hard to understand it. And by the end, I kind of do have a decent understanding. So, you know, it works out well in the end. Um, overall though, I did like my astrophysics degree. There weren't many modules to complain about in hindsight. <laughs> so yeah, this was a different video to one I usually make. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed and I'll see you shortly for another episode of me talking about astrophysics.